What's up people welcome to your 19th game development tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to multiply vectors and actually what multiplying a vector even means. So pretty much say you have a vector that's uh, 10, 10. So like that, 10 across and 10 down. So this vector is 10, 10. Let me draw it. Beautiful. And say you want to multiply this vector by 2. Well, when you multiply or divide a vector, what it means is it takes that number that you're multiplying by and multiplies it by both of these coordinates, such as 20. If you multiply it by 2, you get a new vector that's 20, 20. So pretend this is the new zero point. Actually, I'll change that. So your new vector would be that right there. 20 across and 20 down. So your new vector would be 20, 20. So again, whenever you multiply a vector, it pretty much just takes its length and doubles it. And same thing uh, when you divide. If you took this uh, vector that was 20, 20 and divided it by 2, it would give you the smaller vector 10, 10. So again, it, pretty, it doesn't change the direction at all, but it just changes the length. So now that I showed you guys what multiplying a vector is visually, let me show you guys how to do it in Pygame, or actually just Python. Now, whenever you multiply a vector, well, let's go ahead and create a vector first. So let's go ahead and name it uh, Vector1. One. 1, and we will set this equal to, oh, might as well set equal to 1010 like we did before. So now that we have a vector, we need a function to multiply it. So let's go ahead and put define multiply, spell it right, good. And of course, set the first parameter equal to self, self. Set the next parameter equal to your vector. I'm gonna name mine V because I probably have the vector somewhere. Yeah, this class is named vector, so I don't wanna do that. And next, you're gonna to wanna to take what number you wanna multiply it by. So name it num or something else, some variable you don't have yet. So in order to um, find the answer, we first need a variable where we can store the answer. So put self, um, you put answer, I'm going to put product. I think uh, when you times uh, two numbers together, the answer is called product. And next, what is this going to be equal to? Well, what we want to do is take the first coordinate and times it by the number and the second coordinate and times it by the number. So since V is going to be a tuple, we're going to put v0, which is the first coordinate, and multiply it by the number. We also want to take the second coordinate, which is 1, and multiply that by the number. Right there. And, of course, when we're done, we need to return our answer. So it gives us something. So self, there we go, product. So now that we have this function called multiply, we can actually call it. So we already have our thing object and our vector. So let's go ahead and print the product of this is, I'll just put the product is, save some time, space, money, and other stuff. Uh, thing multiply. Since thing was already a uh, object of uh, the vector class, now we have to pass it the parameters which is the first one is vector one what we're multiplying what's is going to be turned into v so vector one and also the number that we want to multiply it by such as two so let's go ahead and everything looks good to go run this and it says the product is 2020 so this is the original vector vector one and when we multiply it by two we get an extended vector that has the product or a vector of 2020. So that's your quick tutorial on what multiplying a vector actually means. Again, it means just multiplying both of the coordinates, which give it, gives you an extended vector of a different length. So again, I'm not gonna teach you how to um, divide by a vector because if you can't figure it out, then that's I feel pretty bad for you. But anyways, we got one more vector tutorial to go, I believe, maybe two, and then we're going to be getting into um, some awesome stuff. But thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next couple tutorials.